Hello guys, I want to show you how to add emoji to your Outlook. So, you know, we are in, in an age where you need to use emoji uh, to communicate sometimes, especially to the new generation. So, it's always nice to spice things up a little bit when you are composing messages inside Outlook. So, in order to do this, you need to have Outlook 2016 and also Windows 10. If you have uh, Windows 7 but you have Outlook 2016, you can still make this work. I will show you the method to do that. But this method that I'm going to show you first uh, is going to work for Windows 10 and also Outlook 2016. So in order to make the emoji pop up uh, in Outlook, all you have to do is press the Windows key and semicolon. As you can see, I now have access to all the emojis that is out there and I can simply scroll down to get more. So I can add, uh, maybe I'm, I'm developing a checklist, I can definitely add this, uh, for example, to my checklist. And as I'm clicking on it, it's actually going to add uh, that information to Outlook. So let's try that again. So that looks pretty good. Uh, another way, and this also work in OWA as well. So if I go to OWA and I do the same thing, uh, Windows key and semicolon, it should bring up the same thing also uh, in OWA as well. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to actually do this if you are not using Windows 10. Is you can go to options, I'm sorry, on that, the, insert menu up here you go to symbols you click on more symbols and you make sure that the font selected is uh, Sigoi UI emoji and when you select this for the first time you might not see them this is what you will see so you need to scroll down to actually get the uh, emoji part so let's say this is the one that I want I can click on that and I can just click insert and as you can see it's already inserted uh, if I want to let's say I want to have this in my shortcut keys I want to just press the shortcut keys and have it show up I can do that as well so let's say I want this particular one king and I go to autocorrect uh, now I already added King here so let's just say that I delete it delete this one and I want to add it back so I'm going to use this method by typing King and in brackets and click add I'm gonna click OK and I'm going to I don't have to insert it right now so I can close this and then I can come back to Outlook and type uh, King in bracket and there you go and I can even Turn this up by simply just increasing the size. There you go. Who's the king now? So that's really how to do this. Uh, the other method by going to the symbols works also with Windows 7. So please try it out and uh, let me know what you think.